Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be one that I'm really excited about. It is my dog picking my makeup for today. So a couple of days ago, I had her kind of pick out what I'm gonna be using today. <laughs> had to use some, some cookies, some treats, little methods to help her actually do it, but we got it complete. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use those products and we will get right into the video. Okay, so I'm gonna um, put in some clips of Maggie picking my makeup and then I'm gonna use those products. Okay. All right, she picked the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. So to start off, she picked the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. So I'm gonna start out with that today. It's so funny because we had to start doing the video a little bit differently because she <laughs> was not was not cooperating so we had to do the little like pick one hand or the other so I did have to kind of like narrow it down a little bit um when it came to my collection pick one. What do you think? Okay. Okay. Pure 4-in-1 Love Yourself Foundation. I love, love this foundation, so I'm totally okay with that pick. Um, and I'm wearing the shade LP4. This foundation comes in like 100 shades, so you should definitely be able to find your shade in this foundation, and it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. It gives such a nice finish. It's pretty full coverage. I really, really like it. And it's a foundation and a concealer. So it has a pump, but it also has like a concealer, like little doe foot. So I have this in like this shade and then my lighter shade and the lighter shade a lot of times I will use as concealer and they just meld together really well, obviously, because they're meant to be used together. So I'm just going to blend this all over the face. I feel like Maggie did a pretty good job of choosing the makeup. She's such a good girl. <laughs> She's like the sweetest dog in the world. We're lucky to have her because some dogs aren't quite as uh, laid back as she is. She's just really laid back. She does get pretty spooked when it comes to storms. And I feel like we've tried everything with her. We did get this like natural calming balm that we got at like a um, specialty like dog store um, that we've been using for her, which really helps um, when there's like a storm, when we know there's a storm coming on or when she starts to get nervous, we'll just toss that on. You put it on like her paws and her like armpits and then she kind of like licks it off and it helps calm her. I think really it just distracts her from, you know, the sounds and all that. I also just got these hair clips from Amazon because they don't crease your hair. Not that I did anything to my hair today, it's just air dried. Um, but I think that they're really cool. It's cool that they don't crease your hair. Okay, the Revlon Candid Concealer. I do really enjoy this concealer. I use it quite frequently. It's a nice one from the drugstore. I also went to Target today. Just because, you know. Why not? It's Sunday. Love a good Target run. <laughs> I'm filming this on Sunday. They sell those Dots pretzels there. I don't know if you ever had them. They're like spiced pretzels. And they are so good. If there's anywhere near you that sells them, just the original ones that come in like a, they come in like a red bag. They are so good. <laughs> like addicted. We went through a bag in like, mm, I think it was like three or four days. We went through the entire bag, just the two of us. Not that the bags are huge, but like that's a lot of pretzels. Um, to continue with this, um, <laughs> for powder, Maggie chose out. This one? Okay, the Thrive Cosmetics Powder. It's like a really beautiful um, blurring powder. I think I'm just gonna set my eyelids and my under eye. I've been playing around with like not setting my whole face 
and I kind of like it. Especially with this foundation, it's not super necessary to set it because it's not crazy dewy or anything. It's pretty nice um, the way that it dries down. So I just feel like it's not totally necessary to set my entire face. So I'm not going to because I like the way that it looks. We will move on to bronza. Formula butter bronzer. Because this has such a nice scent, I think that's probably why she picked it out. Because she could smell it. <laughs> that's probably why she picked that hand. But you know what? Oh well, this is what it is. Also, I just um, shaved my face, which I do like, I don't know, like once a week or once every two weeks ish. Um, I will shave my face with my little like tinkle razor. I think I have it right here this little thing and I'll just like ch -ch -ch take all like the peach fuzz off my face and anytime I do that it feels like putting a brush all over my face like this feels so weird like the sensation is so strange because my face has no hair on it at all which is hilarious get sure nice and bronzed up now for blush I actually accidentally forgot to have her do blush so I decided I was going to use the um, elf primer infused blush I don't even know oh the shade of this is always rosy I haven't used this too too much so I'm kind of excited to test this out today I wanted to use one that I haven't used super frequently it's a really pretty like rosy color i thought it was looking patchy over here but it's not it's just the excessive skin texture that i have right now <laughs> yay for highlight she picked out okay the essence pure nude highlighter which i've talked about before i really really like it i think it's a really nice like all over kind of highlight just gives like a nice overall glow which i'm kind of into these days anyway it looks pretty it looks healthy but this one is so pretty for just like an overall highlighty look so for brows she decided <laughs> all right <laughs> to benefit precisely my brow I'm just going to go ahead and do my brows off of camera and I will be right back. Okay, brows are on and done and we can move on to the eyes. So for the eyes today, we're going to use one of my favorite palettes that I own. Which one? I think she's sniffing this one, the Urban Decay Born to Run Palette. Here it is in all its glory. I'm going to dip into this shade um, Weekender. That's this one right here and it's got quite the dent in it I just this is like such the perfect transition shade it's barely noticeable on the eyes and I just think it is the perfect transition shade for someone my skin tone I think we're gonna do something kind of simple today simple and summery um, so next we're actually gonna dip into this shade still shot um, with the same brush, by the way, this is the Morphe M504 brush. And just going to run that also kind of in the crease and in the outer corner. That nice pinky, pinky shade in there. I think that this palette is just like so versatile. You can do like a smoky look with it. You can do something easy, everyday, neutral. Like it's just so... It's just nice I just really like it and I recommend it all the time I just think I just get so much use out of it too that I'm just like recommend it to everybody um, so I'm going into that still shot shade with this like flat brush this is just a Sephora brush I it doesn't have like a name and I'm just gonna run that on the lower lash line to get that pinky color in there and then I'll just take the brush I was working with before and I just dipped into the exact same color and I'm just very lightly just kind of blending it so it doesn't look like a straight line down there okay and then I think to kind of deepen this up a little bit I'm gonna go into this shade um, called Hellride right here which is like a deeper purple color and just with this pencil brush this is the E36 from Morphe and I'm just going very close right into the crease 
just to kind of deepen this outer portion up. It just almost gives you like an eyeliner kind of look without adding too, too much color. Just really deepening. And if you haven't already, um, you should check out my video where I do like an in-depth eyebrow and eyeshadow tutorial. I think that that's really helpful if you want more information, like in-depth information about what I'm, what I typically do and why I do it. I think that will be super helpful for you. I'm just taking the same shade with the same brush on the lower lash line as well. And then we'll just take, again, that first brush dip just very lightly into that still shot shade and just blend it all together. Just to make sure there's no harsh lines. Okay, now, let's see, for the inner corner, I wanna keep it bright. Sure, well, let's go in with this first shade, Breakaway. It is a shimmer, it's just a very like light shimmer. There's not, it's not gonna pack a huge like metallic punch. And I'm just using my finger because I find that with shimmery shades and stuff for the inner corner, it's always just easier to use my finger. And I'm just patting and lightly dragging just to get that color payoff. And then actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the shade um, Stranded, which is right next to it, and just put a teens of that in the middle of my eye. Just for a little bit of something. Okay, and then I'll take that same breakaway shade, the very first shade, and on this little flat brush, and just put a little bit under the brow, and then put the same shade in the inner corner. And there you go, just like an easy summertime type of look. Um, also, I did forget <laughs> to have Maggie do brow gel as well, so I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of my Glossier Boy Brow. I just bought some backups of this. <sighs> Ah, because I love it so much. So now I have two backups. <laughs> I was like, I feel like I was um, rationing my boy brow because I was like, I feel like this is gonna start to run out soon and if it does, I'm gonna be so angry and like, you have to order Glossier online. So I started rationing it and then I was like, you know what, I should just buy like two to have so that this doesn't happen to me and I don't start rationing my makeup products. So, I got a new one. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So, now that that is complete and drying down, um, we can move on to, let's actually do, let's actually do setting spray before we do lashes. I like to do this sometimes just because my lashes are long and I don't like them to get smudgy or wet or whatever. Um, so Maggie chose out. Which one? This one? Okay. The Urban Decay All Nighter. <laughs> I like to use this one a little bit more sparingly because it is pretty heavy duty and I like to keep some of that dewiness. I also did not have her pick out a lip product. She was starting to get restless so we did what we could. I did my best. Um, so I'm just going to line my lips really quickly with the um, Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade Nude 03. So I'm just going to do that really quickly. Okay, lips are lined and I'm just going to throw on my Maybelline lipstick in the shade Flush Punch. Just kind of in the center there where there's no liner. Okay, so now that that's on, we will move on to the final step, which is mascara. I like literally don't shut up about this mascara. So you've heard me talk about it about 476,000 times, but what's one more time at this point, you know? It's just a beautiful, beautiful mascara. It just makes your lashes look so long and defined and just pretty. Okay, so I just did one eye. You can see the difference so dramatically. I think I got quite a bit on my eyelid, so I'll scrape that off in a second, but look at the difference between this eye and this eye. It's outstanding to me. 
outstanding. So I really, really, really enjoy this mascara. I feel like I need to buy it in the brown shade. They have it in brown now too. I don't like to have a lot of mascaras open at once. I just find that that's super wasteful because they go bad so quickly and they dry out so quickly, mascaras, that I'm like, I cannot have more than three mascaras open at one time. It just is wasteful to me. I'll try out some new stuff later once at least one of these dries out or is empty. I'm just gonna toss on a little bit of clear gloss just because I like a gloss. <laughs> I feel better when I'm wearing a lip gloss. And that's that. That's the tea. Okay, so now the look is complete. I've done my full face using the pics that <laughs> my dog made. I think that it looks really good. Super summery um, with the like pinkish kind of eye and the nice nude lip. I just think it looks really good. So I think that Maggie did a great job. <laughs> um, so with that, that ends today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I upload videos twice a week, so make sure you hit the notification bell to know every day when I post a video. Um, and with that, I will end the video. I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Maggie Paw. Other paw. Other paw. Good girl. Uh huh. Sit. Spin around. Ready? Through the legs. Good girl. Come here. Sit. Spin around. Spin around. Spin around. Spin around. Maggie, sit. No. Sit. Spin around. I did my best. <laughs>